let's take a look at uh, something called data profiling right so now we'll start with the data profiling topic now so what is data profiling any idea what is data profiling what exactly do you for example so this is my data set okay let me just load the uh, the usual typical data just give me a second So what is uh, data profiling? What is data profiling? As part of data profiling, what we do is uh, we analyze our data to gain in, you know the insights about the structure of the data and content and quality of the data. Okay, basically we are trying to assess the characteristics of, of the data, like uh, the format of the data, completeness, accuracy, consistency, and so on. Okay, I just load this data. I just applied. Okay, even this data set do not have uh, the Boolean type. I'll just load another data set. Mm. Yes, this is what I wanted to explore it. I want to profile this data because it has all the data types in it. So as part of data profiling, we try to identify you know, the area for improvement with respect to the quality of the data. The quality of the data, see data is available now, but blindly we cannot go ahead and create the report, okay? Uh, in this case, we are uh, for demonstration purpose. I'm using small volume of the data. In the real world scenario, once you load the data, you need to do data profiling. Okay, that is one of the best practices. So what I do is I just um, click on the transform data, and I'm going to open the Power Query editor. Actually, here also the transform data they could have mentioned about the Power Query editor, right? So ideally, they could have mentioned that way so that. Even for any beginner, they can quickly understand. Look at sales by customer. So this is the data set. And um, to enable the data profiling, okay, I'll just write it here. Okay, what is the data profiling? What are we going to do? So, you know, we want to, so the first of all, to build a report, what is that required? report or dashboard you need to have the data yes we have the data in place just because you have the data can you blindly go ahead and create the report or dashboard no we need to make sure that how good the quality of the data is the given data is sufficient enough for us to go ahead and create the report okay and how about the structure of the data okay all the things we evaluated right so as part of data profiling what we do is we perform uh, the you know we will find out the data structure We'll try to understand the data structure and second one is um, uh, this one the distribution analysis right so distribution distribution we analyze the distribution okay or distribution analysis and the next one is um, what else we have uh, the quality assessment quality assessment What do you mean by quality assessment? Um, the completeness, right? By evaluating, evaluating the completeness. How complete the data? Completeness, accuracy. Okay, accuracy and consistency of the data and consistency of the data. You go to any project, okay? This is applicable even in the ETL project we do all these kind of check before you do any jar right? make sure that 
you have a data is in good structure, everything is good. Okay. Without that, if you go ahead and create the reports, at that time, if you realize it requires some kind of treatment, that is not good, right? Uh, or sometimes what will happen is without even conducting the data profiling, and if you blindly go ahead and create the report, it can lead to some kind of inaccuracy. So rather than um, you know finding out the issues in a reactive manner, better, better be in a proactive manner to find out the issues and uh, resolve it. Okay, just give me a second here. Students are... Okay, what is data structure, uh, structure analysis? The format, the data type, and whether the correct uh, data type assigned to the column and the format and the schema of your data set. What is the schema? The column order, everything. Okay, so column order is not... Uh, you know, necessarily you need to find, but especially when you try to append the data from more than one file, you need to make sure that uh, all the columns are in the proper order, okay? And next one is distribution is all the things. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leverage the feature that is available, built-in feature that is available as part of Power Query Data, which one? The uh, data profile. We have something called column quality. See, these are the columns. When I select the column quality here, right? When I check on this one, I can see that valid error empty. These three, uh, you know, options got created for all the columns, right? So with that, we can quickly understand what percentage of data in each column are valid and what percentage of the data are, you know, having error in it and how much percentage of empty records or empty values in each column we can find. It gives us Column wise, uh, you know, the statistics, right? Quickly. Okay, here we can see that 11 percentage missing values are empty. And here it says 33% uh, missing values are there. Correct. Okay, now this, this is one insight we are able to get it with respect to the data, right? And uh, okay, what else we can find out here? So, what else we can find out? So apart from this, we have other options like uh, the Column profiling. If I enable this, let's say I'm going to select this one. Look here. Distribution. Look here. It gives me the distribution. Currently, I selected the customer name column and gives me the distribution about the customers. What do you mean by distribution? It's a frequency distribution. For the text data, it is a frequency distribution. How many number of times the customer baron is occurring? Okay, the name Baron is occurring. It is occurring one time. The same name is occurring three times. So compared to other values in this column, we can see that the Baron is appearing more time. In this case, it is fine because we have oddly few records. In the real world scenario, you will be having millions of records. This one will be very much helpful. So with that itself, we can quickly understand Baron is a frequently purchasing customers. If somebody is asking, can you tell me which all customers are more frequently buying products from us or ordering with us? Baron. Okay, look here, this is a tallest rectangle, right? With that itself, you can quickly made, you know, identify this guy is purchasing it more frequently. Distribution analysis. And apart from this, quality is evaluating the completeness, accuracy, consistency. That I'm going to talk a little later. Look here. So now we will look at this, you know, the statistics given for each column here, right? So I selected customer's name. For this column, it, it gives me this much of statistics. Count, it gives me nine. The count is nine. What do you mean by nine here? I just uh, move this little bit down. How many number of records are there in this column? Nine, right? So count gives me nine. Nine records are nine values, right? It is there. You might be wondering, this is an empty. Why it is counting this one also? Does that mean count consider blank value also? Don't rush. Okay, I'll explain you what is happening behind the scene little later about this. Next one is error. Do we have any error? No. Okay. Do we have any empty zero? You understood, right? So this one and this one. Okay, let me just... See this one, the empty and um, sorry, empty and this one are connected, right? Related. Now we got an answer for this one partially. Empty is zero. So you might be wondering here we have some empty record is there, empty value is there. 
<clears throat> how come it says you know zero oh is it the reason why it gives me a nine yes it doesn't consider the blank value here what we see here as a empty rather it consider this as a empty string this is applicable for the text data okay in most of the programming language you might have heard about this this is a text data type in the case of text data type if you find any blank value empty it, you know the software or uh, will not consider this a empty rather it will consider this a empty string so it's something like that empty string is something like this right double quote or you know in the single quote right if you don't specify anything that is called an empty string if, if, if something is blank in the text column that is considered empty string hence this is not literally considered as a blank record so that's the reason it put zero here count nine so usually the count function what it does is it exclude the blank value but since uh, since customer's name column being a text data right it considers the blank record as an empty string hence there are no blank here that is the reason it gives me nine is it clear okay an error nothing is there okay and next one is the distinct how many unique values are there in this column and we have something called unique so usually in sql queries sql queries you might have heard about the distinct is nothing but unique value again why another unique is coming into picture then what's the difference between these two so the difference is so here the distinct what it says is the the total number of different values regardless of how many times it appears in the data set total number of unique values regardless of how many number of times it appears in the data set for example we'll take um, larry is a unique value right and uh, true is also unique because true is not repeating 22 is not repeating rich is not repeating chris is not repeating how many are there 3 plus 2 5 right and uh, this one is empty string 6 3 plus 3 6 and how did i get 7 here in the case of distinct right even though the one baron repeated multiple time right still it considers this a single value see baron your name is appearing more than one time that doesn't mean three different persons isn't it if a person name appears multiple time in a data set that doesn't mean uh, each and every time uh, you know it refers to different customer right you just think that way okay literally go by this statement okay don't compare to you know don't think too much okay so baron what happens is even though baron repeats multiple time it picks up only one time it so though you have duplicates it picks up the unique value from the duplicate also so in this case it appears though it appears multiple time right that you know it takes into account of only one value the duplicate out of the duplicate value also it finds other the unique value and then it considers uh, along with the other unique value as a unique value so baron though it appears three times it represents the same person right and it considers these three as a single so 1 2 3 sorry 1 2 3 4 5 6 plus 1 7 it is not adding each and every occurrence okay unique value unique is something like um, you know very very unique value okay not duplicates no duplicates okay that is what unique but this even though it is a duplicate still it considers uh, you know only in out of the duplicate it takes only one value okay got it that is what distinct and unique is literally unique so you baron it appears multiple time since it is a duplicate it simply ignores this so in that case what will happen 1 2 3 4 5 6 that's all that is what unique okay so unique literally tells us if in my column if any of the values are duplicated it simply ignores that it simply ignores that whereas distinct it will find out the unique value and at the same time in case of any duplicated values out of the duplicate value it select only one unique or distinct value that's all guys see look here empty string you put one so you consider this one as a empty string as a one right one string is considered as a one value considered as a empty string but default 
if you find any blank value in a text data type column, that is considered as an empty string. Next one is the minimum is nothing and maximum is true. Okay, maximum is true. What do you mean by minimum blank, the empty string, right? And maximum is true. So why it considers a true? Why it is considered a true? So if you look at the alphabet order, T comes uh, after these values, right? Hence, after R only the T comes, hence it put, uh, you know, maximum is true. Now you might be arguing what is 22, right? So 22, uh, though it is a numeric value, uh, but when you store it in a text data, it is also considered a text data type, okay? It literally uh, takes the, uh, the letters, uh, you know, uh, you know the whichever letters comes at the the later point in that is considered as the maximum value. That is what true. Okay, fine. And if you look at the distribution, you can quickly understand. Baron is the most frequently visiting customers. The rest of the customers are not visiting more frequently or as frequently as Baron. Now we will jump into the units units sold. I am going to. Click on this. I okay. Before that, I will select column distribution also. We have something else called column distribution. The moment when I selected, I am going to you know unselect it. In addition to these three valid error, we can see something else here, right? So here it shows us the distinct and unique values also, right? It shows us the distinct and unique values. The sorry, this one. I'm talking about this one. Seven, that is what we discussed. This is the one, seven distinct and six unique values. It shows like here itself, it shows a distribution, okay? And here, the same thing, distinct and unique for that purpose, the column distribution also, it shows in here, we can just by looking at this quickly, we can understand the data are, you know, uniformly distributed. This is kind of uh, right skewed data. These are also uniformly distributed. That is what we can understand. Next, I'm going to select unit sold. And here, <clears throat> let us look at the statistics. Here also, it kind of, it takes into account of the nine values. So in this case, what we conclude is even, even here, we have three null values are there. In this data set, we did not have any null value in this column, but uh, once you load it into your Power Bit desktop and when you open the Power Query, it assigns a null for the blank values. But what happened here? The count, it shows nine. So in, it takes into account of the null also. How many number of records are there? Nine, right? Nine records, it tells me nine. So it takes into account null value also. Error, we don't see any error. Right? In case of any error, it display here itself. We don't see any error. Empty is three. So three null values are there. And distinct, six. Yeah, that is correct, six, right? Unique is four. What is NAN? Not a number. We don't see any not a number value. Zero. Fine. We don't see that issue. And zero occurs one time. So one zero is there and minimum is zero. Obviously, this is a minimum value. Maximum is 15, right? So here it is. It will display the maximum. The maximum is 15. And it gives me average standard deviation. Even. How many values are even? Five, right? Um, the 15 and... Uh, 15 uh, and it takes into account of, uh, okay, even is 5, odd is 1. Okay, sorry, the even is 5, right? So even is 10, 12, 3, 4, and um, I, I think the 0 also considers a even, right? And odd is 1. What is odd? The 15 is odd, right? That is, the, that is why it shows 1 here. And then distribution tells us, right? So we have uh, 10 occurs multiple times compared to other values. Okay, fine. Uh, there is nothing more to discuss about this. Similarly, sales column. This is your Boolean data type. What is Boolean? True or false. In this column, we can see only true or false, right? It, as usual, it gives me nine values are there because um, it, count, it takes into account the, the null value also. We don't see any error, empty is uh, five. Yes, one, two, three, four, five is there, right? Four plus one, five nulls are there. And uh, distinct is three and unique is one. Okay, unique is one. Why unique is one? 
true repeats more than one time and simply discards that null also repeats multiple time hence only one unique value false is there one okay and true is three times it occurs and false occurs once time fine it's pretty straightforward right next one is also text data type okay we don't have to worry about that so now you understood what is the advantage of uh, you know looking at this one right by by using the data profiling now we got some statistics supposing this is our column called state okay in, in the state you know in india how many states are there okay but if the distinct shows more number of times it is a problem right um, and uh, if the for example uh, some people they say uh, let's say the state name is uh, andhra pradesh let's say you say andhra pradesh or tamil nadu or um, so let's say tamil nadu somewhere they mention tamil nadu let's assume that this is a state column okay tamil nadu and here also they mentioned them but somewhere they mentioned about tamil nadu and here ap is there and somewhere they mention andhra pradesh the full name they gave it and madhya pradesh right so madhya pradesh they give like that so mp somewhere they'll give since this is called inconsistency i was talking about uh, inconsistency right uh, there is a inconsistency all the state name should be common tamil nadu right either use tn tn everywhere don't use different name for the same state that is called inconsistency in this case for the same statement different name they used it that is called inconsistency okay this is wrong if if you have the data like this what will happen you know these records uh, t and anything related to t and t and it will get grouped the tamil nadu will show us a different state actually this one also part of this one right hence you need to address this you need to replace all the either t and by tamil nadu or you replace all the tamil nadu by t and this you need to talk to your internal management and then you you know you can replace the values got it that is how you need to do it okay but uh, how this one helps by looking at this by taking a glance at it you can quickly hey i have only 28 states or how come it shows 38 states there is then there is something inconsistent values there you understood that means some somewhere they mention tn and somewhere they mention tamil nadu tamil nadu tamil nadu tn tn right something like that so there is something wrong it requires some again you know what to do is you take a deep dive you scroll down and check instead right uh, what you do is you can click on the drop down next to the column name and here it will show the unique value right all the unique look here baron is not appearing multiple right? so here for example in the case of state you can find okay tn is there tn is there tamil nadu so this is the problem yes we need to fix it replace all the tn by tamil nadu tamil nadu Uh, not even tamil nadu right so tamil nadu something like so you fix it that way okay once you fix it you are all set the whole idea of this one is right it helps you to um, it helps you to uh, you know make it helps you to make sure that whether you have the consistent data in your see having a data is important without data you cannot do any uh, report creation or uh, what is that report creation or um, dashboard you cannot create it yes data is there how good the data data uh, is available let's assume that this is a state column the data is available but are they consistent that also matters isn't it like i said i gave you this example state somewhere they mentioned tn t dot n somewhere they mentioned tamil nadu so data is there we can create a report but how good the data do we have the complete day values are there yes complete values are there but how consistent the values are the values are not consistent by looking at this quickly you can make out that is the advantage of this one right in the case of test column this is very much helpful okay you can easily find out and then otherwise what will happen in your chart it will show when you plot the data in your chart you know it will show something like this you are listening to take for example in the case of tamil nadu it will say the sales like this and you have something else called tamil nadu one second it will you know repeat it and for this it will show something else. that means there is something wrong with the naming convention naming standard followed right either you know this one should have been replaced tamil nadu or this one should have been uh, 
uh, replaces t dot n. You know, follows you know the unique naming convention for each state. Right within the state itself, if you uh, come up with different naming standards, the data will get splitted here and there. It will, it will cause some kind of inaccuracy. Right. Fine. So data is available, but uh, the all the values are there in the column. In the, let's assume then the state column. State column. All the values are there, but are they consistent? This is not consistent. Replace all. Okay, uh, somewhere TN is there. I replace all the TN by Tamil Nadu, something like that. Okay, Tamil Nadu, wherever it is there, you need to make it like this. So in that way, the data profiling is very much helpful. Okay, the data consistency point of view and then accuracy point of view, because in case of any inconsistency, you know, that, you know in that case also, it can lead to some kind of inaccuracy. And the completeness, yes, how complete the values in all the columns here we can see null null ideally units sold should not be null isn't it units sold should not be sales can also be having some negative value but sometimes what they do is they'll adjust it uh, with the credit balance or what is the credit note debit note right in that case they will adjust it okay but uh, the unit sold is should not have do you know blank value here right it should not have blank value so there is a you know incompleteness so completeness consistency accuracy these things are very much important in order to determine whether the given data is um, having a good quality or not okay apart from the duplicate record do we have any duplicate records we need to remove that that we will see it little later okay in case of duplicate records you have to remove it okay otherwise it will it will do some kind of double counting. The same person, Baron, unit sold 10, sales is 100. Again, if I repeat the same thing in my data set and without even doing the data profiling before even exploring the data, if I plot a chart, what will happen? 10232 plus 1023, 20,464. It will mislead the management to think, hey, we sold more to Baron. We'll, we will give him. Uh, some gift or some you know we will give more reward points to this guy you remember when you go to a shop they will give you some loyalty card or something like that right so they will get your number they'll give some loyalty card and what they do is um, uh, next time onwards when you go and buy it from them uh, with your card with your same mobile number uh, you will you are um, what is that the points will get included right reward points will get included as and when you go and make a purchase. In that case, if you double count, what will happen? On the one hand, we will uh, it will mislead us to think, yeah, the sales is more. On the other hand, you know, what you do is you are going to give him more reward point. Uh, you know, unnecessarily, right? Mistakenly, you are. So make sure that you are removing the duplicates also in case anything is there. That we will see it a little later. Hope you understood what is uh, data profiling is all about. Data profiling is nothing but uh, examining or analyzing our data set to gain insight about the structure of the data, quality of the data. That's it. How consistent the given data is and uh, how accurate are the, do we find uh, the completeness in my data set on the format? This is what data profiling is all about.